Hi, welcome to WebSim. Today we're gonna to work on getting your first generation, saving it, publishing it, sharing it with others, and then updating the link behind your publishing. Here's a little tour you've got. It brings you to the top posts of today, or the week, or the top posts of the month. There's also a tab for new things. So if you retype in the exact same URL, the websim.ai URL into the prompt bar, and you hit send, it's going to take you to a version of WebSim that is imagined by whatever LLM model you're using. I happen to be using Sonnet 3.5, which is the most recent one by Anthropic. So you can see just by typing in the exact same link as the WebSim homepage, it sort of re-simulated the same homepage. Let's start by uh, start by just clicking Start Simulating. So by clicking Start Simulating, it took us to the URL websim.ai slash create. So let's say, so we're gonna type in Galactic Pet Shop, and then we're going to do, I'm gonna do a gallery adoption through the known galaxy and um, pets that made their way from unknown portions of the galaxy. And you know what? I actually really liked that last page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in the context and I'm gonna go save that page. So let's see, open the link in new tab. I wanna save that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit like. And what liking does, when you go back to the homepage, it puts it in this tab here called liked, where you can reach it again. Okay, so it took us to the Galactic Pet Shop with some uh, some friends from our known and unknown portions of the universe. I think I like Blobby the most. So what we're gonna do is, instead of hitting adopt now, I wanna know more about Blobby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the container and I'm just gonna click Delve. Delve is a new feature that allows users to select portions of the website that they want to expand upon, that they wanna see more of. On mobile, you can tap and hold. Basically anything on the page, you should be able to right click and delve in one way or another. And that will just give you more information. So like I said, I wanted to know more about Blobby. So here we are, it took us to Blobby's page. I want to save this, right? And I want to I want to share this with other people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like this one. And if I want to share this, I just take this link here, hit copy, give that to somebody. They can paste it, and it'll always take them to the real page that you made. Saving the real link from the top of your actual web browser rather than this one from within the WebSim window is how you share your creations with other people and return to them uh, if you just save. Let's say I want to go back to the Galactic Pet Shop, right? But I want to see a different part of it. So let's say view galactic pet shop gallery slash page dash 21 okay so and that's the difference that's the difference between um natural language prompting and url prompting you're not talking to it like it's a person you're typing to it as if you are imagining a website on the internet they're both designed to be understood in the same ways by the large language model okay so by going to the Galactic Pet Shop and typing in slash gallery slash page dash 21, it took us to the theoretical 21st page of the Galactic Pet Shop's gallery. So it gave us all of these different kinds of creatures with really interesting um, interesting images and descriptions. So let's, let's find a beautiful one and we're gonna go a little bit deeper with that. But I think what I'm going to do with this one is I really like this page and I think people will have fun with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit bookmark on this. So I'm going to change the title here. And by clicking that, it'll make the, the link the same as the title here. And then now publishing it makes it so that this link here takes you exactly to the generation that I made. The creature that I like the most here on this page that I might want to adopt and learn more about is the gravity slug, right? That sounds kind of silly. He looks funny. So we're going to copy that image. We're going to go up here. We're going to hit paste. Control V for a Windows user. I think it's Command V for Mac. And then what we're going to do is say, Generate me a habitat for the gravity slug. We're just gonna say that. Just generate me a habitat for the gravity slug. Uh, so this is what it shows is the ideal habitat for the gravity slug. This is where it evolved. That's super cute. I really like that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna like this and save that. We're going to try and turn our, our pet shop gallery into something more usable for other users to explore with. Instead of just one single gallery page, we're gonna make a way to search. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of Blobby in the context here because we don't need his sp specific page to be influencing the context, right? So we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna tell it to bring me to the galactic pet shop else you think that a galactic pet shops adoption search could use. So it took us to the galactic pet shop, find your perfect extraterrestrial companion. So you can sort it by different regions. We're going to say find my cosmic companion. 
Okay, wonderful. Okay, so here is my new cosmic companion. My new Chrono Snail uh, Prime, I guess. Let's go back to that page and um, let's update the title of the bookmark. What we're gonna do is hit edit here. Galactic Pet Shop, search pets. We'll do that. And now when somebody uses this link, it'll take them to this page. I really dislike the, the visual design of this page. So I'm gonna tell it to keep the functionality of this page the same. More readable, beautiful, and intuitive. Now this, I actually like, I like the, the visual theming for this version of the Galactic Pet Shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and update my link again. Hit edit. We are just going to hit update bookmark to current page, copy link, give it a good test -a Perfect, okay. All right, now I wanna make this a little bit uh, a little bit sillier, okay? So let's see what I have in my bookmarks to combine with this. I'm gonna combine this with my WebSim profile page and I'm going to tell it to uh, show me the profile page for my uh, Galactic Pet Shop adoption page. We can use natural or URL prompting, but I think I've done a lot of natural prompting, so I think I'm gonna do URL. So let's say galactic pet shop slash profiles slash adopters slash catwinter, which is my username. So we're gonna type that in and see what that brings us to. And so what I just did was I went over to my bookmarks bar, dragged this in from my, uh, from my context into the prompt bar here and told it to go to combine those things. And so let's see what this does. So if I wanted to undo the combination of the profile context with the Galactic Pet Shop search page, and I would just remove my context here that I brought in from the bookmarks bar, and then I would also remove the page that it generated, and then just hit send again. So uh, as you can see, by deleting the profile context from the context menu, it generated me a new adopter profile based around, mostly around what it seems like is the theming of the Galactic Pet Shop search. It has the same color scheme, um, and it seems like it really gave it a different theme that wasn't at all based on my existing WebSim profile, which you can find here. You can see the previous generation really looked much more themed similarly to this, whereas now it seems more similarly themed to the Galactic Pet Shop search. So that's one way that you can leverage context by adding things in, deleting them, and changing around what you want to be retained in the, uh, in the memory of your generation. To recap, we uh, typed in the WebSim AI homepage, which took us here. We clicked Start Simulating, which took us to this uh, Create Your Web Simulation page, and that took us to here, the Galactic Pet Shop. And then if you remember, we right-clicked and we delved on Blobby here, which took us to Blobby's profile. And then we asked it to take us to page 21 of the Galactic Pet Shop gallery. And then from that, we told it to generate us a uh, search page for potential adopters to find all of the different pets that they have. And then we updated the link behind our bookmark to publish that and update it and save it, share it with other people. And then from there, we made it look prettier. That is what we've done today. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped a lot and happy web simming.